introduce you to our next fantastic act. Magic was supposed to be my side hustle. I was performing when I was six, but I didn't think I could do it as a job. Then I went to college and I was poor, like most students. So I started doing magic as a street performer. I did 800 20 minute shows in a single summer, and it changed me. I was always shy, but somehow as a performer, I became strong. Now I actually support my family doing magic. As a character called Alex Frost, I did Christmas magic at a Santa theme park for two years. Now, I'm just me, and I tour around the country. Travel takes me away from my kids sometimes, and that hurts a lot, honestly. So I do what I can to include them in the process. And that way, even when I can't be with them, my magic brings them close to me. It sounds weird to say it, but there's a lot at stake tonight. Fooling Penn and Teller, it can mean a better life for us all. Give it up for the magic of Alex Hilshi. For the last 10 years, I have tried tirelessly to impress my kids with classic sleight of hand magic. <laughs> my kids are entirely unimpressed. Even when I tell them that that wand will come back out of the hat, there it is. <sighs> but my kids don't care. I thought they'd flip. They couldn't care less. And for that reason, I've decided to use my deep knowledge of magic for a higher calling. To let parents know that you can get your kids to eat better if you just learn a little bit of sleight of hand. I know. We try to give our kids healthy options. Carrots, celery, kale, seaweed. Okay, I don't actually do those last two. I should probably do those last two. But still, our kids just want the delicious stuff. You know, I scream, you scream, we all scream for... Crackers. <laughs> Well, parents, don't worry. I figured it all out. You're about to learn snack magic. If you just imagine that you have an invisible shelf, you can set your crackers there and your kids can't see them. I know, your snacks are safe. And if the dog wants one, just hide it in the hat. Now, if your kids aren't around and you're feeling a little bit hungry, you can just reach out and grab your snacks. Oh, thank you. Remember the one in the hat? That one comes from the hat. Thank you. But if you notice that your kids are lurking nearby, don't worry about it. Just hang your snacks right back on that shelf and your snacks are once again safe. And, oh, thank you. And actually, I don't even have a dog, so. Oh, but I'm gonna be leaving soon and I might get kind of hungry, so I think I might uh, grab those back and, oh. If your kids start to catch on, don't worry about it. Just mix it up. And your snacks are entirely safe. Uh, now here's one just for Penn and Teller. Uh, you guys know that if you take a little bit of low sodium magician's dust, you can actually make those crackers disappear. I know, figure that one out. All right? Oh, that's actually a really big mess. Um, I got it. One sec. 
Actually, that looks pretty good. I might save these for later. Mm. Wow, thank you guys, thank you. But I gotta tell you, you can do this with all kinds of snacks. It doesn't have to be crackers. You can even do it with, you know, um, cookies. Mmm. Wow, that's really good. But maybe your kid's been watching 75 hours of a TV show about ponies. And it's not that you don't like ponies, it's just that's a lot of ponies. And maybe you just feel like screaming. But remember, you can always scream for ice cream. But Penn, tell her, I don't want to influence you guys, even though my kids would think it was super cool if I came home with a trophy. <laughs> but I brought you something. A bribe. <laughs> These are for you guys. Thank you so much. I think you might like the container. Oh, thanks so much. Thank you. Oh, very good. Job. Did Thank your you. kids actually inspire this trick? My kids absolutely inspired this trick. I homeschooled my kids for five years, and um, we would sit around the table every single day at lunch, and I made a lot of grapes disappear, I made a lot of strawberries disappear. The magic was really handy to get them to eat their vegetables. And why did you homeschool them? Well, I uh, had been a college instructor in electrical engineering, and I really liked teaching, and I thought, if anybody's qualified to do this, uh, maybe it's me. It looks like Teller is loving your bribe. <laughs> <laughs> do you think it's gonna work? I don't know. <laughs> well, I don't know either, but let's find out. Boys, are you ready? I think we are. Oh, Alex, you gave, uh, you gave Teller ice cream. <laughs> Made him very, very happy. Great. You know, it's, it's great to see a new face in magic, see you coming along. We appreciate it being uh, Max Bellini. Ice cream, we appreciate that very much. We appreciate the Ramsey crackers. That was really good, too. Tell her, whenever you're around, tell her, and, and I hope for your sake you never are. Um, uh, he always, if he's at a diner or any place, is always doing sleight of hand with crackers. He just loves doing it. So most of those moves I've seen before done by Teller, unfortunately. I like them much, much better by you. Uh, it was beautifully done routine, beautifully put together. You did a, uh, did a wonderful, wonderful job, and I think I snuck a few things in there as Teller finishes up your ice cream, and uh, we don't think you fooled us. Does all that code make sense to you? What do you think? Did they, they figure it out? They definitely got me. So, but thank you guys. This was the honor thank of my life. Know. We really enjoyed it. Thank you for being here with us. Come back. Alex Hilshi, everyone. More Top Notch tricks for you when Fool Us returns.